Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Gossip About Gossip, the podcast where we talk about real-world applications of distributed ledger technology. My name is Zenobia Godschalk, and I'm the SVP of Communications here at Swirls Labs, helping to tell the Hedera story. Today, I am delighted to be joined by Niels Skildiger, who is the EVP of Products and Operations and also the co-founder at ABC. Hi, Niels. How are you? Hi, Zenobia. Good morning. Doing well, thank you, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, so I know, you know, we have talked, we've shared some of the um, progress that ABC has made um, and what ABC does, but I think there are folks who might be newer to the story who don't know what you do. So um, can you give us all a little bit of background on um, the company and the reach and uh, what you work on? Absolutely. My pleasure. So ABC was founded about five years ago with a really bold mission in mind, which is to solve large scale (laughs) supply chain challenges around the world. And when I say large scale, it's really at the government nation level. Instead of solving discrete, unique issues in certain supply chains, we're just gonna go all in and and, and do all of it for entire countries one at a time. So we are are here to deliver the, uh, what we call the digital infrastructure for the future, future of the global economy, which is a you know, pretty bold statement to make, but that's really that's really what we're doing, and what what we're we're so excited about, obviously, uh, that mission and and seeing it unfold in different places in the world. Um, so our technology is, of course, we're a blockchain company, which is probably not a surprise to anyone listening in here today. Um, but we're we're basing our technology on on two blockchains. One is Hyperledger Fabric. And the other, of course, is the Hedera Consensus Network Service. And we have invented uh, what we call Smart Hub, <clears throat> which is the digital representation of any supply chain where everything flows through from data to trade documents like, you know, uh, shipping documents, invoices, purchase orders, what have you. And any really any data associated with, with any supply chain transaction and the actors in that supply chain. Um, and that data is then ingested on, on, on the primary blockchain, which is Hyperledger. And then we were able with Hedera um, consensus service to actually do what we call the double digital notary, which creates additional trust in the data uh, in that not only is the data present on one blockchain and we verify the authenticity of the data, the provenance of the data coming into that blockchain, uh, but we also further notarize it on the Hedera network uh, for specific events. So think about that as um, like going to uh, to close a real real estate deal, buy a house and there's a whole docket of a folder of, of all kinds of paperwork. It goes in front of an actual notary and that notary's job is to ensure that you are you and the documents are are, are accurate and, and, and true, right? So we do that in a digital space. And so we really bring supply chains at a large scale into into the cyberspace uh, and make all that data immutable on a blockchain and create trust and provenance uh, at a level that that really resonates uh, when we go talk to the governments around the world. So, so far we have implemented very successfully uh, for the pharmaceutical supply chain in Bahrain for the entire country. So it's not just, you know, one pharmaceutical or another, it's, it's everybody the entire country and everyone's mandated that wants to do business in Bahrain to actually sign up um, for our technology, register all their information on the network, in the blockchain. And that's the only way you can import pharmaceuticals into Bahrain. And that ensures the government that they they can trust the products come into the country. And when someone scans a a label somewhere in the supply chain, they can trust it's actually authentic and it came from the company it claims to come from. So in 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 from in pharmaceuticals, um, the WHO estimate that about a million people die every year. They literally are killed every year because of fake pharmaceuticals. 
So this is a very, I mean, just the pharmaceutical industry is a very, very big issue for, for humanity, really, right? Trusting that the medicine you're about to take is actually what it claims to be. But this really applies to all kinds of supply chains. And for us, the pharmaceutical supply chain is, is a great entry point, but the ambition and the strategy is to do everything. Um, you know, the authenticity, the trust in the product really, really kind of relates to any product, even service, that you can trust the other party and you can trust the product is, is genuine and, and what it claims to be. So um, I'm very excited to also announce that we are taking that next step in providing the first um, sort of bridge between the physical uh, supply chains in a country uh, through customs processing and the digital with, with our smart hub in, in, a, in the blockchain. And we'll actually be doing um, uh, customs processing for the uh, Republic of Kyrgyzstan, starting with, with some pilots and, and just expanding. But that that is really what I, was, what I said in the beginning, that our strategy, our vision is to provide the future uh, infrastructure for the digital infrastructure for the for the future of the global economy. So entire countries and really everything that that, that goes into that country will, will eventually be where we'll end up. And Hedera is right there in the middle of it, right? Everything flows through that mechanism, that technology to provide that province. So as a consumer, when you scan the label, you have full visibility into the history of that product all the way back through the supply chain where it came from. That's powerful. Yeah, you're certainly not tackling small problems. <laughs> we have the, we're ambitious people. <laughs> we're Absolutely. <not> afraid. <laughs> so I want to go back to, you know, we had, I know we had previously um, shared the story about you, you know, the partnership that you have with the Kingdom of Bahrain. Um, you know, those, those kinds of things take time to develop, right? So can you tell us since we made that announcement, um, what has the progress been? You know, what are you seeing? Um, how does that translate into, um, you know, potentially transactions on the Hedera network? Oh, absolutely. So yeah, you're right. It takes, it certainly takes time, right? From, from get, starting a project like that to actually being fully, fully live and immersed and, and everyone on board it and all that. Um, it took it took it took uh, quite some time, but we're there. Actually, June first, we went live, fully live in Bahrain uh, for the pharmaceutical supply chain, which is which is fantastic, right? That's thank you so much, and it's a huge validation of the also of the technology and the robustness and 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 this this the scalability and and the, the speed, the efficiency, and everything that Hedera stands for. So that's a, such a great validation of everything we do. Um, so in a country of Bahrain, where this is a fairly small country, like right? slightly less than 2 million people, give or take, and just in the pharmaceutical supply chain, it's going to be about 100,000 100, ship events, as we call it, a year. So that's really events on the supply chain um, as it comes into the country and goes through the, the process of eventually ending up uh, at the, with the consumer. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty significant and something we're really proud of. Yeah, congratulations. So country of 2 million people just for pharmaceuticals, that's about 100,000 events that you see over the course of a year. Yeah. And it sounds like that was a great place to, you know, to really sort of develop that and then be able to hopefully potentially repurpose that with other countries. Exactly. And as, as I mentioned, we're, we're then expanding to all kinds of other products, right? Some of them, you know, oil and gas industry, food industry high value items, you know, you, you name it, uh, precious metals. I mean, it applies to everything. And actually even we are, we have demand for also for services. So non-tangible, not just physical products crossing borders, but also services. So it's, it's, it's really powerful and, and, and it's unbelievable. The, the, the opportunities that, that blockchain and in particular with Hedera that brings to the table and, and to really leverage the power of the platform and the community, right? And that's that's really what got us super excited about Hedera. Uh, once we, we selected Hedera and we started having these strategic conversations with, with you guys, the, the network behind it, the technology, of course, driving it all, the, the fact, the, you know, it's environmentally very sound and, 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 and super fast, right? And, and ext extremely stable, 
all of which contributed to Hedera is the is the blockchain to choose for this, for these very large scale use cases. Yeah, and it sounds like you know the governments that you're working with are interested in tracking essentially anything that has value, right? Or anything where you need accountability, whether that is, um, you know, assets, raw materials, metals, um, or things where you need accountability for their, um, their population. Uh, you know, they, they need to know that there is trust in those supply chains. Exactly. And the traceability, right? Because that's, that's a key part of, of the process. You're able to track the product through the supply chain, not just where it came from, up to the point where it's, when it's crossing the border into your country, but what happens after that? Tracing it all the way up to consumer, and then for the consumer, consumer at the end of the day, to validate the provenance of products by having the ability to, to, to in a completely transparently, look at the events leading up to that point. Right. And so in Kurzaxon, you're doing something a little bit different. That's not pharmaceutical supply chain, correct? It is also a pharmaceutical, but oh, it um, is. Okay. yes, but it's the the opportunity there is to essentially process everything um, through the smart hub, um, no matter what it is. So we are we're we're taking those steps now, and and that's 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 really the actual at scale strategy we're executing. Um, for the pharmaceutical supply chain and, and that industry is a fantastic starting point to not only prove out the technology, you know, the business model, the ability to roll it out to support it, the scalability of technology, everything, all of that is in, involved in, in driving innovation and, and uh, maturing a product to take it to the market, right? It's something new and highly innovative and disruptive in many ways too, right? When you bring new technology and, and different ways of doing things to the table, something is being disrupted. And this is this is highly disruptive, right, in many ways, which is a great thing. That's what we, that's, that's what, what we're here to do. Um, but disruption, just for the sake of disrupting, is really disrupting something is kind of pointless unless you end up in a better place for everybody combined, right? So usually they're winners and losers, but all, all combined, you have to have a lot more winners than losers. Otherwise, there's no real, otherwise there's no strategy. There's no value. And that's, that's just, you know, that's just how it is. So, yeah, so the pharmaceutical supply chain is great because there is a, uh, this just first of all, there's a global push for for a compliance push for traceability, right? So there's an organization we're aligned with too. It's called GS1 that's providing a global the global standard for for traceability and how you know how the data on products so represented by a label like a QR code or a, a 2D barcode, right? Um, in the pharmaceutical market, that's just something that's being pushed out hard because there's a lot of safety involved for for people right you have to and and, and just and just the regulatory compliance um, the ability to to enforce that and 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 uh, make sure the industry is is playing nice yeah and so i imagine you know it's not it's not a sort of simple knock on the door hey um you know government of this country go try this out um what is that process like what are those conversations like well, uh, you're right. That's not not just a simple simple conversation, and it, it also takes a lot of time to mature. Um, that's also happening at a very strategic level, and you know, I'm very fortunate that to be a part of a group of co-founders, right? Because we're we're a group where we have those relationships to actually be able to not only knock on the doors but walk walk right through the door because they're 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 already established relationships, and uh, and and that's why we able to work at this very high level um very very high level in in, in go within governments to to have these conversations and uh and 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 and, and position of course blockchain uh, as a way to uh as a system a new system of record for for the government right um and that's really maturing and i've seen you know the last just year or two um how that has matured and the mindset has matured. This is a very, very large scale, truly industrial application of, 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 of new technology, right? Which of course it takes a lot of, a lot of ed educating. So our, our process really is educating. We spend a lot of times, you know, meetings, educating, getting, you know, entire teams of, you know, government teams and, and whatnot, truly educated on, on 
on all of this, not just what we do, but blockchain in general and 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 everything related to that. So it's a it's a it's a long process, but once we're there, you know, the the opportunity is of course very large. Thank you so much for everything that you are doing. Before we wrap up, is there anything, um, last words of wisdom that you'd like to share? Well, I'd say what an incredible time to be a part of, right? We, we all came out of this kind of traumatizing COVID period of, of a couple of years of, of, of uncertainty and all kinds of things related to that. And I feel like now is the time for everybody to have the energy and the tenacity and, and the patience to really go all in on, 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 on what they believe in, you know, individually with, with their strategies and, and really push hard right now uh, with that era to, and the community, leverage the community. That, that's, that's just such a big, beautiful thing about, about blockchain, which is different from the past. That you're not, you know, no one's alone. It's a community to share. And it is willing to share because that's, that's a whole, I mean, if you think about it, it's the philosophy of blockchain, decentralize it all, right? So leverage, leverage people, leverage knowledge, reach out, um, share ideas, uh, and, and, and help each other bring things to life. And I, I, I'm just super excited about that. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing your progress with us. Um, we can't wait to continue to hear more about this journey. And um, as you onboard new countries, new applications within each of those countries. Um, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Again, Zenobia for having me. My pleasure.